Hello again, it's Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the gallery room. Uh, Move my ladder out of the way. This is a 20 by 20 inch by 2 inch canvas and I have for the most part primed the sides and I probably could have given it a second coat but I'm not going to do that right now. What I am going to do is make myself up a pan of colors starting with my Anita's white metallic in the bottom. That looks like something I should pay attention to. Before it disappears, grab my tweezers. And that was something else with the tweezers, okay. I'm going to use a shovel and probably an OXO omelet turning spatula. The, the spatula will be available on my, Amazon, well, on my Amazon link below the link tree. And I'm going to put those away. I like my orange. I don't know how many more times I'm going to add it in there. I think I'm going to start with some greens because a garland usually has some greens in it. I'm really hoping that most of the paint colors that were open a moment ago will still be open, but I'm not having much luck with that right at this exact second. So I'm going to open my Prussian blue because it makes nice cells and I want some in there. And I'm going to have to take the time to, oh, to thread it right. Yeah, it's time to clean the threads. Oh, come on. Please. <laughs> please, please, please. Please, please. When the, uh, when the paint builds up on the threads, it's really impossible to get them to screw on correctly. So I'm just going to pour some of that in there. And I'll try and take care of that in a moment. I'm just going to use all my favorite colors. That's a turquoise metallic. I'm not sure who made it or, or even how old it is or how long ago. But I interchange them all. I mix them all together. I, I'm not shy about using one kind mixed with another. As long as they're acrylic, in my opinion, they're probably going to work. I'd rather have the paint go into the white as, a, as opposed to crossing each, over each other because I want to scoop this out of here. This is a neon purple from Folk Art, multi-surface acrylic. I'm going to throw a little bit of black enamel all over everything because it, li it likes to help cells. And what else do I want here? I don't need a whole lot. I want to use some magenta. I'm going to add a little more orange. I can tell that now. This is the same purple flash that I used in there already. I'm not sure who made this who made this neon. It could have been folk art. It could have been deco art. It was one or the other of them, I guarantee. I really love it when I put a bottle in position and it actually allows me to pour some paint. I'm quiet because I'm focused. I want my colors to be right. I want some pink. I'm going to use some of this berry color from Deco Art Americana. It's a metallic. But I also want more of the magenta, which is actually, the more I look at it, it's really not the same color at all. What else, what else, what else? I think some of this lighter purple would be a good idea. Yep, I like that. And I really want some more blue, but I don't want the blue I just used. I kind of want some of that cobalt blue. Put some of this in here first. Come on. Nope, not going to come out. Okay. Be that way. I'm going to put some red in there because it's just screaming red at me. I don't know why. I really need this to be something I like before I start. 
So this is a iridescent pink from Art Minds that they don't make anymore. And it may not even have been an iridescent to begin with. I add golden iridescent pearl fine. A golden product that's iridescent and pearl with the label fine on the front of it. I'm going to throw some of my new emerald green metallic. Yep from DecoArt Americana in there and hope that I can love what I've got. Maybe, I don't know, they got to look better than they look right here. <laughs> They're not doing it for me yet. I'm going to go ahead and use some of my Venetian blue, throw a little bit more white back over the top of this, throw some yellow in there. I hope it comes out better looking than it is. I need this to be better right now. I think the only thing that's going to save this for me is adding just a ton of the color that I love. And I will put these aside as best I can. Oh, there's the turquoise color shift. Of course it's not open. And that one screwed back on at least. Alright, so not gonna worry about any of that. I'm gonna start. I'm using my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula available on the Amazon link underneath show more or above show more in fact underneath the video there's a link tree and the link tree holds a lot of branches it holds a lot of links this turntable moves so nicely and it's nothing more than an, your average turntable that's made of wood I'd show you, but I've got a 20 by 20 inch canvas on it right now. So I have a fairly even layer and I want it to be a little on the heavy side. And I also want to clean my spatula off, which is obviously not possible if my cloth isn't wet. And that's a highly unusual set of circumstances. We're trying to get out of here for, to go for dinner someplace. I'm going to throw a little bit more of that purple. Yep, that makes me happy. Where's my black? My black is already shaken. Fingers. <laughs> Best tool you got. Alright, so I'm going to go... and hope that I can make this work out. in the time that I have, because I took way too long making that paint color, making those colors up. At least that's the way it feels. And I don't want to check my timer and, and jinx myself. I do want that black to meet with that white. And I want it to be a little bit organic, but I'm not sure how to go about that. I'm really tempted to drag the um, basting brush into this. Because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link? Underneath the link tree, underneath the video. Doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be adequate. So I'm going to do that. Kind of a neat effect. That one's not good. Looking to get rid of any canvas. Just 
Let's make a no more organic edge. I can feel that hitting my feet. <laughs> I want to go around and do that everywhere with my finger. All right, so that is what it is, and that's okay, hopefully. Let's grab my shovel and go to town. Paint's looking kind of heavy today, thick, strangely enough. I forgot the green. Okay. Let's do a little, little bit of that green. I hope I'm right about this. I could be completely wrong. We shall see. I know I'm quiet. I'm just going to take the rest of my paint. And try and... What's the word I'm looking for? Obscure. I'm going to try and obscure that edge. I used up all my color. Now it's time to get out a skewer. I might want to put some gold in there too, and this is the perfect time to do that. Maybe some orange. I like adding the orange. Yep, the orange makes me happy. And it might be more than one color. It might be that other color orange that I like. I'm going to let that shovel drain, grab myself, grab myself a skewer, maybe a skewer with a nice big ball of paint dried onto the end of it. I would like this to work. I didn't put any gold in. I am planning on obscuring most of that edge between the black and the white, to be honest with you. And every time I get some of that green color, I'm probably just going to keep swiping with my skewer. Back and forth even. Wherever there's some white, that's the perfect place to put a spiral because it takes advantage of that, that negative space. And I like it. <laughs> and if I see any of those little tails that drag that I don't like, I will probably put a spiral there too. So that's looking pretty cool actually. I hope I get to finish it while you're still here. I could probably easily grab another skewer 
that's clean. But I'm not sure I see any point yet. You can always put more green in after. I'm just dragging that. I know you guys think I make this look easy sometimes, but really and truly, if you just follow the whole course of events, it doesn't have to be that hard. Because the paint is heavy, I can definitely drag white paint into it and make those wonderful multicolored spirals. And I have GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which keeps the paint from cracking when it dries. I was a little nervous about using the black around the outside edge, but I want the black and I wanted the white on the inside, so that was this was strictly an experiment worth making for me. So I've got two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, and that is I do sell my artwork, and the email address to use is underneath the link tree that's underneath the video. Also, I have Teespring clothing underneath the video, unless it's Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzell art, in which case the link. The link tree will take you to Teespring Clothing, and you can find all of her print leggings and all of her print t-shirts there. If you are on Expressionist Art Studio Priscilla Batsell, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batsell, you can find the Teespring Clothing right underneath the video. I've got two minutes, and which is just about enough time for me to do what I want to do, and I'm not complaining about what's happening here. I think I can put larger spirals if I want to. I would like to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And it's important to have a whole bunch of different size spirals to make it the most interesting possible, at least to my mind. I mean, somebody probably wants them all the same size, but it's not me. And there's a fairly even distribution of that paint so it does make an actual pretty cool wreath shape and a lot of those orange spots have been dragged into the into the mix if I need more color I've got it in squeeze bottles and I'll just add it as I go I see that I've got lackadaisical in this spot over here so I love you guys. There's almost 89,000 of you. If you check under the link tree, you will find Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More for anybody shopping, fineartamericapixels.com. There's a Shop Now button there that will take you there, and, s and the link tree will also take you there should you happen to be interested in it. I love you guys, and there's one minute left before you're gone, and what else should I tell you? Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Twitter is, uh, excuse me, Pinterest is where I, no, still wrong. <laughs> Instagram is where I post most often brand new artworks. So if you want to be current with my channel, it might take a month for me to post a video, but the artwork that I do on the day will most often be there. What else do I need? I don't know, I love, I love pulling the paint and that's what's happening every time I spiral. And I could just work that out as far as I want. And I don't mind if I spiral most of it. Might be another time when I do this a different way. But for right now, this is what I had in mind. I'm so glad you guys joined me. Thank you for the con thank you for the contributions that have helped me keep painting on YouTube. And if you want to donate to keep the studio rolling, look for PayPal on my channel icon or oh, you're gone. Darn. Well, I love you guys. If you're still here and I forgot to tell you, I love you. <laughs> so I could add a little bit more green a few places, I think. And that wouldn't hurt my feelings any. I may have to put that around the edges afterwards.